episode of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. In these weekly shows, me, a guy who's been down on Wall Street for almost 29 years learning everything you can possibly want to know about insider tricks, tips, and techniques, will teach this to you every single weekend at 11.30 on Sunday mornings. So thank you for tuning in to show number four. Traders, it's been going really well. You traders from Vegas sending emails, sending letters, making phone calls. In fact, my third show that happened just this Sunday, the second the show ended, the phones lit up. It was like a Christmas tree once again. Thank you, Vegas traders. Hey, I am here. I'm accessible. I am more than happy to teach you these techniques. So call me, 702-629-4755, if you like this show and you'd like some help with trading and the technical analysis behind trading. Traders, here's an interesting thing. Each week, I like to think about what I should teach you, and then, of course, we develop a show, we film it, and you get to watch it on Sundays. But what's happening lately is that viewer mail is beginning to dictate the shows, and you know what? That is just great. Thank you for the viewer mail. I have no trouble molding my teachings around what you, local Vegas traders, would like to know, right? It couldn't get better than that. Instead of me teaching you what I think you should know, you ask me questions, I'll be more than happy to include what you need to know in these shows. So with that, first thing that happens right after the show this Sunday is I get a phone call. Phone call is from Debbie. Debbie, thank you so much for that phone call. You are wonderful. Debbie, I, somebody I happen to know through the Baseball Little League here in town. Debbie calls me up says, Oscar, love the videos, but I have to ask you a question. The question is, can anybody trade these markets that you're teaching us about, or do you need to be a professional with a badge and a jacket and a seat on the exchange? Debbie, absolutely not. You don't need a badge. You don't need a seat on the exchange. You don't need one of these cool jackets. All you need is to open up a trading account and use the techniques that I teach you, and you should be able to move in and out of these markets. So anybody, any John Q public over 18 years of age that has risk capital to lose can trade these markets, Debbie. Thank you so much for the question. After that, I receive a letter. Well, I've received, I received a few letters, but this letter caught my attention, and I thought I'd share it with you. Dear Oscar, Love your energy and enthusiasm. Well, right off the bat, thank you so much for the letter. We appreciate you and Mel, no doubt. Okay. And we go on to say, thank you for sharing your tips with us Las Vegas traders. Again, my pleasure. I'll do this for you every single Sunday. I had a question regarding last week's show. You seemed concerned about a stop order in last week's episode. You better believe I'm concerned about stops. They are your best friend. I am relatively new to trading and have never used a stop order on my trades. Wait, stop the press right here. You've never used a stop order on your trades? I'll tell you what, buddy. I'll get back to this letter and I'll answer that for you. But I got a commercial to show you that should prove a point. Watch this little short. Hello, sir. May I help you? Oh, hi. Good day, sir. My name is Mike, and we are conducting a survey on traders. Uh, the survey is about stops. Do you use stops? Get out of here. We don't use stops in this industry. No stops. We don't need no stinking stops. In fact, get off my property. I don't speak to anybody who uses stops. Get out of here. Got to use my stops. Okay, Vegas fans, so you've seen that. Look, I know a little facetious, but I wanted to prove a point when I read that when I read your letter. I mean, you never used the stop. I can get that because you're new to trading. So I hope that little short helped you. Let's continue with your letter, and of course, I will answer your question afterwards. So <clears throat> Could you do a show on types of orders 
the public should use to trade more like a Wall Street professional. Looking forward to your next week's show. Thank you in advance. Thomas from Las Vegas. Thomas, thank you for writing in. Again, I hope that quick short just proves a point to you. And absolutely, what I do is show about types of orders. And you know what? It's a very good question from a Vegas local, and I'm glad you brought that to my attention because in these shows, I'm showing you techniques, and in my mind, I'm thinking you traders all already are advanced enough to recognize how to use these techniques, but some of you need to learn the basics about trading, what the markets are, and what types of orders you should place. So if you'd like any, if you'd like for me to answer any other questions, simply email Oscar. You'll see the link right below, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions personally and put them in my weekly shows. So here's what I'm going to do for you. Types of orders, that's what we're going to learn about. Types of orders that can be placed. The orders that us professionals down on Wall Street use to make sure we don't get tripped up in these rough and tumble markets. So traders, I'm going to start off by put together a little list and I'm just going to go through this list and show you the types of orders that you should use. One of the most important orders that you will ever use is the MIT order or market if touched. Exactly what does that mean? Let's say you are looking to get into a position and you'd like to get short the market. You would put an order in to sell, let's call it the S&P at 1350. You want to sell the S&P at 1350 and let's say the market opens up and starts to go up towards 1350. The market rallies, hits 1350 one time, turns around and drops and you never got your fill. That's because you placed a limit order. What you want to place is an MIT market if touched order and what will happen is this if the market touches that price only once your order becomes live automatically and will take the next fill price possible getting you into the market so always 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 use the MIT order to get into a position or to get out of a position the MIT is a great order for you to use now Let's go look at a second order. Let's go with number two, and that would be stop market. Traders, we know a stop is your best friend, right? Well, there are certain types of orders to place, and if you look on your trading software, you have things called stop market, stop limit, right? Stop market is the absolute best way to place your stops. Always use stop market. Why? What's the mentality behind that? If you place a stop order and you do not place stop market and you place stop limit, which we'll get to next, the order could very well be filled or I should say the market could very well get to the spot where your order should have been filled, drop so fast that it cannot be filled because you placed a limit. Bad word. So you want to use market instead. Do not use stop limit. Always, always use stop market so that when the order hits your price, it immediately gets you out of the bad or good trade, depending upon your position. Stop market is there to get you out immediately when the market reaches your pain point or the price where you would like to exit a market. So go with the stop market. Number three on the list, of course, that we've already mentioned is stop limit. Now, is there a difference between stop market and stop limit? Absolutely. Stop market, as you've discussed or as you've just learned, will get you out of the market quickly. Here's the fallacy of placing a stop limit. And many traders think a stop limit helps them outthink the broker on the floor or helps them outthink the pricing unit or helps them outthink the price ladder and the professional traders. That does you no good. The stop limit ties your hands up and this is how. Let's say you are looking to get out of a bad trade. You bought S&P at 1350, you have a stop at 1340, but it says stop limit. What can happen to you is the market could hit 1340 40 and tumble so fast like the flash crash day you've put a limit on the order meaning you can only be filled at 1340 no worse well what does that mean you're stuck in the market while it continues to crash so we do not use stop limit orders ever do not x across the board no stop limits use stop market look on your price ladders any trading program out there these days has them on there use stop market do not use stop limit let's look at another order here 
I think our fourth order here is the buy limit. Traders, there are orders that you can place to enter into a market and ex exit a market, of course. The buy limit is one of them. When you place a buy limit, that's one of the few times that you can actually place an order with a limit on it. And what does that mean? That means that you are just placing a straight order to buy. Once again, if the S&P is at 1350 and you desire to buy them at 1340, you need the market to drop down a little. When it hits 1340, you try to buy. Now, the buy limit is there so that they cannot fill you any worse than the exact spot you're looking to buy at. Can it stop you from getting filled? Yes, it can because you've put a limit on it, but it will stop you from getting a bad fill. So if you do not want to use a, an MIT order, you must use the buy limit if it's a buy stop. However, I would go with the buy MIT at all times or the sell MIT as I discussed. The buy limit is there for traders who think they have an exact spot picked out where the market should stop. I don't know that any of us are that good. I think that we should let the markets move as they should. Do not put limits on orders, but the buy limit is a way to get into the market. And then, of course, the next one that we would look at is the sell limit. And the sell limit is our fifth. The sell limit works like the buy limit. Let's say you're in a trade and as it moves higher, you would like to exit with profit. You can put the sell limit order in. When the market reaches your point of profit, you can sell out. The one thing about that is this, once again, if you do not use MIT market of cuts and you go with limit, the market could hit your spot where you would like to have taken profit and drop without you ever getting a fill. So the limit orders are not the best orders for you to use. They are types of orders. I would say to you, I want you to use an MIT and a stop market more than any other type of order. But let's continue to look because there are other orders to discuss. Our sixth order, and I think there are only about eight orders that are very popular out there, so let's look at all of them. Our sixth order is a fantastic order. I use it all the time. It's called the market order. What does a market order do? When a market reaches your point where you would like to enter into that market or exit out of the market, you simply place a market order and you get filled immediately at whatever price is happening at that point in time. And a market order is your best friend, barring a stop. It gets you out of the market. So use market orders if you are reaching a point in the market where you would like to participate and are a little bit uncertain whether or not you get filled on a limit. Go to market order and you will be filled. So that is your market order. The seventh order is another order that is very interesting. It is called MOC or market on close. The MOC order, the market on close order, is an order that will get you out of the market before it stops trading at the end of the day. Whether you are too panicked to do it yourself or not, the MOC will get you out when the market finally gets ready to close. The MOC says this person needs to be out before the close and will boot you out of your trade, good or bad, before the market settles. So always go with an MOC if you are stuck in a market and getting close to the closing price. We have another order for you now, and that would be your GTC or good till canceled order. What will that do for you? If you are the type of trader that does not pay attention to the screens all day long and all night long, let's say you're a doctor, dentist, lawyer, a professional that's slightly too busy to watch the screens constantly, but let's say you've bought soybeans and you're long a soybean position, of course your sell stop is in place. What will you do if you can't pay attention, if you have to go on vacation, if you need a babysitter to get you out of a market but you cannot be there to watch? What you can do is place the GTC or good till canceled order. That good till canceled order will work every day and every night until the market finally reaches your point and you can get out of your trade. Traders with the good till canceled GTC order, remember this. If you place a GTC, it is good till canceled. It is going to continue to work in the marketplace every day and night until you cancel it. You are responsible for canceling your GTC orders. What can happen to you if you do not cancel one is three weeks down the road when you're forgetting about it because you've already exited the position. You're going to get a phone call from a broker who's going to say, hey, are you aware that you are long soybeans? 
due to your GTC order that you placed three weeks ago. So if you do use the GTC, which is a good order, make sure you cancel it when you're getting out of that order. So traders, those are the types of orders that are most common to place. Those are the orders that I would like for you to use. Remember, a stop is your best friend and an MIT market if touched is the best way to get in and out of these rough and tumble markets. Now, interestingly enough, while I was banging around on these charts, traders, I'm writing the word sell limit and I happen to notice a chart just above it that I have to show you because this chart is just masterful. Here's where we are now in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I am talking this day on Sunday, the day we're filming this video for you. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is in the very same bull flag that I showed you in last week's episode where we did a recap of show number two. In show number two, I gave you the bull and bear flags, mentioned to you that we were coming to the bottom of the bear flag and the bull flag and should break out towards the upside. Well, here we are right now. This is the Sunday before Memorial Day, which is tomorrow. And I say that this continues to break out of this bull flag and works its way higher. You are in a wonderful parallel channel inside of a nice bull flag. You've held the Omni average right here. We'll get to that in another lesson. But we're holding the Omni average like we did last time. We are inside of the bull flag heading towards the top inside of a massive parallel channel. I think this goes straight up. After you've seen this video, we should already be above that bull flag and higher. That is a wonderful chart. I know this class wasn't supposed to be about charts today. It was supposed to be about types of orders. But when I seen that chart, how could I not show you that? I mean, wow, it's an analyst's dream, that chart right there. So the lessons I'm giving you in these classes should absolutely help you with a chart like this. Remember, this is where we are right now while I'm filming this video. You won't see it for a few days, but by the time you do, we should be above here. The techniques I showed you in the last three videos should help you stay in tune with where this is going. Remember, you have the parallel channel, last week's video. The week before, you had the bull flag and the bear flag. The week before that, of course, we did swing days. The three of those lessons should help you greatly in a chart like this. So now you know the types of orders that you should place. Remember the MIT order, extremely important, and the stop market order, extremely important. Make sure you use both of those. Traders, you know what I'll do now? I think I'm going to take you into my trading room where I can show you the, um, I have a trading floor basically, and I'd like to show you that trading floor and just give you a little bit more in-depth information and knowledge about how to use those orders and what can happen to you if you do not use them correctly. So follow me into the next room and I'll show you what we got going on in there. Making money in the markets is not an easy thing to do. That's why I chose Metastock, the award-winning analysis and data package. Metastock uses technical analysis, good solid information. Not just hunches or guesses. This helps me make better trading decisions. I find the best trades and I can decide when to buy and when to sell. With Metastock, I trade more confidently. And that's helped me be more successful. Go to metastock.com slash TG7 right now to get your free 30-day trial of Metastock software. I love Metastock. Okay, traders, so I told you I was bringing you into my room here. This is my past. Here's what I want you to recognize. What I am teaching you in this series of classes, this course that you're going down the road with, with me, is that I have been doing this for a really long time. Behind me is the floor I used to work on. I know all of these people. That is as real as it gets. This is a real badge. This is a real trading jacket. And these are really my friends from the days of old. So I want you to recognize that who you are learning from me, Oscar Carboni, is a guy that really, really understands this well right from the pits in Wall Street. So when I tell you that a stop is your best friend, I tell you that because I have watched so many of these guys get carried off the exchange on a stretcher, so to speak. You know, we had this old saying on the exchange. You're either leaving the exchange on shoulders or on a stretcher. There's only two ways off this trading floor. Well, let me tell you, the traders that did not use stops, they left on stretchers. The traders who used stops, like you saw in that little video before, we are the guys that succeeded and survived. So a stop is your best friend. And as I mentioned to you, 
You want to use a stop market. It is so important to not use stop limit and go with stop market. And let me explain that order and why. Let's say I'm in the pit now and I get a guy who hands me an order and he wants to sell one stop limit. The market starts to break down and I say, sell one at 1242 and it drops to 1241, 1240, 1239, 1238. What happens to him? He's not filled because he gave me a limit. I can only fill him at one specific price. Next thing happens, I get an order and it says, sell one stop market. The market hits his price and I immediately say, at 49, at 48, filled. His order is filled and he's done. That's the way it was in the pits. What I want you to recognize is even though the pits are mostly gone, us same sharks, and that's what we are down on the trading floors, are working those price ladders and throwing orders in and pulling them out to convince you guys to trade around us. It is no different today than it was when these guys were live filling your orders. The price ladder now is our pit, and if you do not use the right orders, guys like us will be there to shark and snake you guys and take your money from you. It is very important that you recognize I am telling you the inside goods. So you will use stop market, never stop limit. That is a great thing to do. The next thing, it is most important that you use MIT orders, market if touched. And here's another example. Let's say the trading pit guy hands me an order to buy one and it's not an MIT, it's just to buy one and it's a limit order. Well, the market may hit his limit and I may say 1249 for one, 1249 for one, 1249 for one. I don't get a fill and it rallies up from there. The customer never gets filled. The same situation, if you place the order MIT market if touched and I go 1249 for one, 1254, buy it, you're filled just like that. So you have to use MITs and stops. A stop is your best friend and an MIT market of clutch is the second most important order. It will get you in and out of markets like that. So use stop markets. Use MIT orders when you buy and sell. That is a great tip from me, Oscar, and I have been doing this as I've shown you for many, many years. Traders, Talk about doing something for many years. I got to show you my old relic. I used to come down to the trading floor in the 1980s with this monster. It weighs about 30 pounds. What was wonderful about this particular computer right here was that on this computer, Metastock sent me disks. We started off with these. I'm sure you guys remember these, right? We started off with these and they were kind enough at some point in life in the later 80s to give me these smaller diskettes. But here is what I started down on the trading floor with in the 1980s. Crowds of people used to crowd around me at the trading pit. I'd hold this at the pit and we'd get clerks and brokers to crowd all around me marveling at my laptop because what's a computer back in the 80s? No one had them, especially laptops. And when I say this thing's heavy, I'm not kidding. Monochrome screen, baby. <laughs> so here's where it all begins. The company that helped me get my start with computing and doing analysis on the computer was Metastock, the same company that converted this to this and allowed me to chart live at the exchange right in a pit like this. Traders, take a look at this. Making money in the markets is not an easy thing to do. That's why I ordered this free book and demonstration disc from Metastock. Metastock uses technical analysis, good solid information. Not just hunches or guesses. This helps me make better trading decisions. I find the best trades and I can decide when to buy and when to sell. With Metastock, I trade more confidently. And that's helped me be more successful. Go to metastock.com slash TG8 right now for Metastock's free demonstration disc and a free book on trading strategies. Okay, traders, so you've learned about types of orders. You saw that wonderful chart we had, right? The Dow Jones Industrial Average looks perfect here. Then we took you into our little simulated floor room where I gave you a more depth explanation, if you will, about each one of these orders and what can happen to you if you use the wrong ones. So we're learning each week. I love doing these shows for you. I would like for you to continue to come on down watching these shows. Now, traders, I'm trying to recap each show, but this is our fifth show coming up, and I can't recap all four or five, you know, before the show begins. So here's what you need to do. At my site, 
LiveWithOscar.com. Just click TV shows and you will be able to watch all of the shows in consecutive order. So go to my site, LiveWithOscar.com. Catch up on show one, two, and three. You're watching show four, and you'll be ready for the fifth show. Traders, I'm going to continue to give these to you every Sunday morning. I want you to continue to watch these shows. Remember, remember to call me, 702-629-4755 if you need me. You can always come right down to the office because we are here locally. All right, so what else do we have going on? I got a wonderful piece of news for you, Omniax, here in Vegas at... Uh, I guess it's going to be August 20th. August 20th, this summer, in a couple of months, I will be holding a live seminar here in Vegas, and I will open up the doors for dozens and dozens and dozens of you. So I want you to all come down to my live seminar. I will give you more information about that seminar as we get closer. I'll give you the name of the hotel, the dates, all that good stuff. But it is going to be about the third week in August. And I cannot wait to meet all you traders, you local Vegas traders, live at my seminar. It's going to be exciting, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So make sure you call us, 702-629-4755. Again, website is livewithoscar.com. Make sure you jump into my chat rooms where I can help you become a better trader. What you may not recognize or what you may not know is that during the day and the night, 24 hours a day, from Sunday night all the way to Friday afternoon, I am live in my trading rooms where I have tens of thousands of fans from all over the world. They tune in with me, they come into my trading rooms, and I teach them, and they are free memberships. So grab a free membership at LiveWithOscar.com. Join me in my trading chat rooms where I can help you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Learn this better. I am live, and it is F-R-E-E, -E, traders. It is free. I have opened up my heart, my knowledge, and my doors to all you local Vegas traders, and I will not charge you a dime for these lessons. So you come on down, and I promise you, for as long as you want to hang around me, I will teach you things that you would love to know. Yes, of course, you can upgrade to different level memberships at the site. If you upgrade, then you will actually receive instant flash updates from me, instant trades, how to place the orders, where to place the orders, where to put your stops, and where to take profit and or loss if that comes our way. These are real time. They shoot right out to your computer as I get ready to do those trades. So if you'd like to upgrade, you can, but do not let me chase you away because 99% of what I offer you traders at my site is free. So come on down and join me, and I will be there to help. All right, traders, one of the things I like to say in all my classes, lessons, videos, I have about 740 videos on YouTube right now, so you can go watch a lot of those if you'd like. I say this to all of my Omniacs because the truth is you really need to keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things I can do for you is to tell you the sadest to yourself every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is.